Okay, welcome back. This is part two, and this is where we're going to look at the PicoLog recorder application to get the UPSI sensor scaled and uh, otherwise interfaced with the PicoLog TCO8 USB connected rec uh, recording system. So up here, what we've done first is we've gone to file and we've said okay new settings here and we pull that down and we get this recording window here and we want to have real-time continuous uh, stop and and one minute restart delay is fine we're just going to say okay to that and now we bring down the sampling rate window the sampling interval of once per second is fine for this particular sensor and uh, you can increase that if you would like, but this is a relatively slow response and responding sensor. So once per second should be good. You can put in the number of samples you want in here. Usually I put in about 50,000 samples. And then you can say okay to that. All right, you notice that the unit has now enumerated itself and we're good to go. So that's what you do first. Then what we want to do is, you notice that we were using channels one and two, so we're going to set up channel one right here. We're going to make it be uh, useful. And we're also, before we get started on that, let's change the mains frequency to 60 hertz, which is what we're doing. We're going to edit channel one here, and we're going to say that the name of this channel is going to be temperature. So we'll put that in. Okay. And under thermocouple, now this is, for the, this is from the instructions for the little terminal board device. We want to set this to millivolts right here. So we're going to say OK to that and apply. But before we do that, let's go to options. OK, and it'll say let's save. OK, now we have a new window that's open. You want to check the box, use for amateur, parameter formatting. Our units are not going to be in millivolts, but instead they're going to be in degrees centigrade or degrees C. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale for the graphs. Now the, the temperature can go from minus 10 degrees centigrade up to plus 80 degrees centigrade. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to now scale this and what we what we need to do is open parameter scaling. So here's our next window. We're going to use the scaling method uh, referred to as equation here and we're going to write a small equation. It's pretty simple to do. It's just simply parenthesis and then x minus 10 divided by 0 0.5 and that's all there is to it see how easy that is then you can say okay and say okay to parameter options and say okay to edit the TCOA channel okay now we've got temperature now we have to go to channel 2 and do the same thing for the relative humidity so I say uh, millivolts for that go to options use parameter formatting Again, the unit is not going to be millivolts. It's going to be percent relative humidity. Or you can just say RH. Let's just put percent RH for that, just for fun. Now, the minimum value on the humidity is going to be 0, and the maximum value is going to be 100. Okay, now we're going to go to scaling again. And we follow pretty much the same thing as we did before using equation. And then it's even simpler for the relative humidity. It's just parentheses x divided by 0 0.5. Close parentheses. That's all there is to it. Okay, so then we just say okay, 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 and we're done. So that's all that happens. When we start looking at it, we see that we've got some numbers up here and they're pretty reasonable. Our temperature is approximately 25 degrees centigrade and our relative humidity in here is fairly low. It's, only, it's about 21. Could be better. So as soon as we uh, then put in a file name and we 
uh, press the button to start recording, then we can bring up the graph that you saw earlier here. And so if you have any questions about it, uh, give me a call, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the, these sensors are relatively inexpensive and it's, it's fairly easy to get all these things going. Um, I was able to do this in less than an hour. The, the sensor uh, needs an excitation of something like 6 volts to 24 volts, and so I just used a 9-volt battery. The, the current draw in the sensor is in the, or on the order of micro, microamps, so the sensor can, can be just hooked up and used for, in an experimental sense like this for quite a while without needing to turn it on or off and just let it run. So that's about it for this. If you have any questions, call me and I'd be glad to discuss it with you. Okay, so thanks for watching.